the, the decline of, of the exchange rate uh, uh, is primarily, in my view, driven uh, by what is going on in the US now. So it's really the dollar that is increasing rather than the euro decreasing. And the big driver of this is the, the very lack, the very different positions in the monetary policy cycle that the euro area and the US are right now. We are very much out of sync in terms of policies, monetary policy. The, the, um, the US Fed is increasing uh, interest rates very rapidly. This steps, I think the markets are expecting a nine uh, times increases of the interest rate this year. Whereas in uh, in Europe, this is a lot more timid. Well, uh, inevitably, all our imports become more expensive, and that, of course, in an environment of uh, of high inflation, it simply adds to it. Uh, that's the case. But I think I would I would like to remind uh, our audience that uh, the European economy, as such. Is a relatively closed economy, meaning that most of the things that we consume, we actually produce ourselves, with the big exception of energy, of course. Uh, so in that respect, uh, we, we are not a small open economy, we are rather a closed big economy. And, and that means that the sensitivity to let consumers of these exchange rate variations are very much controlled. the Netherlands, uh, uh, Italy, of course, the countries that are big manufacturing exporters outside the EU borders, uh, outside the Eurozone in other words, uh, they are the ones who will benefit from the uh, from this uh, attractiveness of the Euro, right? Because uh, European exports now become, uh, become cheaper and therefore they're more attractive. For the moment, I don't see uh, the movements uh, and the competitiveness to be troublesome, but the, it will all depend on the way, on the conviction with which we meet uh, the immediate challenge, which is energy. If we bring our heads together and we solve energy in the next six months, uh, all of this will be reversed in my view, and the effect of the asynchronicity of monetary policy uh, will matter less. Uh, if, on the other hand, we don't have a convincing answer to the energy problem, that will affect our competitiveness and therefore, that will be a very different story and much more uh, troublesome for the European economy.